Bob's first day of black bear hunting was rather quiet, but he is confident they're in the area. Finally, the weather's cleared off. We've got clear blue skies. Spent all day on the lake fishing at the bass tournament here in Atacokan. Kind of the full meal deal. Fish all day, hunt all evening. That's what we're here for and enjoying every bit of it. So now we've got about three and a half hours before it gets dark. We'll just sit back and see what shows up tonight. But, you know, the old cuttyback's showing that we've got lots of bears, and it's just all about timing. You know, one thing about a bear, he cannot see real good. Right now, he's not going to be able to hear very good because of all this high wind. But they got one heck of a nose. But it's blowing straight out in the wrong direction. But that's when you got confidence in your product. Holy smokes, that's the same bear that came in last night, got out there about 30 yards, turned around, went right back. <sighs> I did, looks like it went in perfect into the heart and maybe hit. Death Bella right there. And that's why I shoot rage right there. Look at that. It's just blowing blood. Holy smokes. Look at all the blood. Blood right there. 20 yards, folks. That bear didn't go into the woods, fortunately. 20 yards. There is a blood trail that a blind guy can follow. <laughs> oh, look at the size of this bear. That is a monster the success from this is it's a lot of preparation a lot of teamwork larry does a lot of scouting for me he goes out and does a lot of baiting you know the guys here at canoe canada shane and the guys and albert have done a tremendous job this year sending us cutty back picks of, of lots of bears and you know to get an opportunity to see a bear like this know we got him in the area and then get a second chance for him to come back is a beautiful thing